first off, maybe we can start with you uh, giving your assessment about this event. How did it go? And wh what's the sentiment, the general sentiment of those who attended this? Excellent. Well, great question. First of all, I think we have to say that the organizers and us as participants are very pleased with the global representation in the audience. I think it shows that you know there are a lot of industry events, but people like the idea of coming together, mm -hmm. sharing opportunities, debating the, ch the issues, and challenging each other to do better. Um, and I think in, in terms of uh, overall as well, I appreciate the media being here because I think this is something which the messages that come out from this conference, mm -hmm. you really have an incredibly important role as conveying that globally. Uh -huh. And to me, what you know, we're, we're still just the first morning, but it's the optimism. You know that we know that currently, right now, the global economy is under some some turbulent times for the first half of this year. Mm -hmm. But it's the optimism that we're in a really good place structurally, and that once the consumer behaviour will turn back to positive rather than cautious, the air cargo industry is going to be able to serve the, the demands of the global economy much better than previously. Okay, in, in your opinion, what are the top three challenges that are facing the industry right now? Right, great. Well, first and foremost, I think it's people. We have to make sure that as an industry, we can attract, retain, develop the next generation of workforce. It's so crucial. We need their innovation, their ideas, their passion, their commitment. So we have to create a different environment to encourage and inspire that next generation to work here. That's one big challenge. Second big challenge is getting through the current economic um, turbulence. You know, it's a case of a lot of aircraft are out there. We've got to somehow get through this period of, of uh, reduced demand. So maybe for the next six to eight months, um, so that we can then poise and capture that opportunity when it comes back. And maybe the third area is actually looking at sustainability. Sustainability, it's not just about the environment, but it's about the planet, it's about global communities, and it's about people in general as well. And it's not just a buzzword, it's something which I think is going to be imperative to help the industry grow and operate. And of course, it's something which our customers, our employees, and regulators are looking at every industry to improve in their sustainability credentials. And Air Cargo, I'm very proud of what it's doing and, and what it plans to do going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, can we go back to your first challenge, the, the, the first challenge that you mentioned? Why is it hard for the industry to retain talents, do you think? And what can companies do to entice them to join the force? Right, well that's a great question because I think what we have to do is we have to change the way that we're trying to appeal people. This is not just about moving boxes from A to B. It, that's physically what we look like we do from the outside, but it's not. What we do as an industry is we impact people's lives. We move around medical supplies, which will help people stay alive. We move around um, technological equipment, which will help people do their job. We move things that help people in their recreation and social environment. We move the flowers, which help people celebrate. We move food. Food, exactly. People stay alive. Most importantly as well, we connect developing markets with global consumers. And if we can take these really positive, uplifting stories out to that next generation, we can create in their mindset the desire to say, I want to be a part of that industry because that can impact the world and I want to play my part. And once we can build that inspiration and that motivation, we'll breed loyalty and then we can build long-term relationships. Okay. Thank you, sir.